Hi, George here. Let's talk about mining for ancient debris and using that to make netherite armor like I have on right here. Welcome back to this big cavern I made in just a little bit, but first let's see what this whole netherite bit is all about. To work with netherite, you're going to need a few things over here. First, to make armor, you'll have to have a full set of diamond armor because you make netherite armor from diamond armor. You're going to need to have a furnace or a blast furnace to convert your ancient debris into netherite scrap like that. You need a crafting table in here. You'll also need a smithing table. This allows you to place your diamond armor over here and a netherite ingot right here. You can then use that to convert the diamond armor into netherite armor. Now you can get a smithing table by just crafting very easily. All we need are two iron ingots and then four any wood plank and that gives you your smithing table right there. Now starting in Minecraft 120, it's going to be much more difficult to make netherite armor. So if you're in 119 right now, do everything you can to get your netherite armor now. And that's because a new slot is being added over here, which is going to be a spot to put in a netherite upgrade. And you can only find that in Bastion Remnants. So it's going to be much more difficult to get that one piece of the puzzle right here. Then your armor goes here, and of course your netherite ingot goes right here. Let's now go into the crafting table. And we're going to craft the netherite scrap into netherite ingots. And to do that, it takes four netherite scrap and it takes four gold ingots. Make sure you're gathering that gold as you go. And there's your netherite ingot. Now, it doesn't matter what order these are in. These can be in any place like this, anywhere all around here. Doesn't matter. As long as there are four netherite scrap and four gold ingots, you get your netherite ingot. There it is. Now to make netherite armor, you'll need your diamond armor. You just make a spot for that. There we go. And we'll take that helmet. Go to the smithing table. Put your diamond armor or diamond tool over here or your diamond weapon right over here. And then place a netherite ingot right there. And that gives you your netherite armor, in this case, the netherite helmet. And again, once we get to 120, there's going to be an additional spot over here for the netherite upgrade, and you'll have to find that over in a bastion remnant. So much more difficult to get that at that point. So there's our netherite helmet. That easy to do. Just put that back over there. There we go. Let's now go and take a look and see how you can actually find that ancient debris in the first place in order to do all this great stuff here. Let's get down to level 15 here, Y15. And we're right here. This platform is at Y15. And this huge area right down here, this is what I dug out. Actually, I used TNT to blow out this whole big area in here looking for ancient debris. There's a spot over here, right down there, and another one off to that side. And in this whole area, I found 11 pieces. So it's pretty rare. But there are three main ways to mine for ancient debris. I'll show you my favorite one and the other two standard methods. Let's go right over here. Now here is Y15. A lot of people say what you need to do is to come down to Y15, mine along here at too high, and you'll find your ancient debris along that road. And kind of yes, kind of no. Y15, that's this floor right here, but it also happens above and below Y15. So what I like to do is to come down here to Y13, which is this level, and mine along this level. And while I was mining along here, I found a piece of ancient debris very close, right here actually, right about here. And this I was mining along like this, and I spotted that ancient debris right there pretty quickly and just dug that out. And notice how that's up at about Y18. So if I did the normal mining of just mining too high or three high, I wouldn't have seen it. I like going up as high as I can reach. So I'm mining out about six high, and I usually then will actually find a lot more that way just by the standard mining technique. Also, when you're mining, take a look around the piece because there may be more pieces right around it very close by. So make sure you look clear around and take out whatever you find there. Okay, the next weight is to use TNT. That's what I did for this little spot in here. This is about eight blocks wide, eight blocks deep. And for my huge cavern, I just used a lot more TNT. The nice thing about TNT is it's relatively safe. You see it looks pretty good in here. We'll do one of those in just a second. Here's another TNT spot right down here. There's the Y15 level. I put that in for the Y15, and we're down here at Y13. I didn't find any ancient debris in either of those. 
Next over here is using a bed as an explosion. And you see the problem in here? It's a little larger. It's one more block on either side, and it's one more block forwards and backwards. So it's just a little bit larger than TNT, but not really that much. Everything catches on fire, and you have a very high chance of taking damage at the same time. So there is some problems here with using a bed instead of using TNT. Let's just take a look and see what my technique is on these things. So again, right now we're at Y13. I'm just going to dig down here. Now you can use any pickaxe for this. And I like going as high as I can. That's again about Y18 up there. And if you're just mining, you're going to be finding a lot of minerals like we have the quartz right here. And you want to have all the quartz you can get. You'll also be coming across gold in here. Notice with the quartz, I'm getting experience from mining this. This is one of the reasons why I like to do branch mining like this instead of using explosives. Because with explosives, all of this would have been blown away. I wouldn't have gotten any of this experience. I wouldn't have gotten any of this quartz in here. And you really need to have quartz when you're doing a lot of building inside of Minecraft. So you lose materials if you're gonna be doing any kind of blast mining. Now to mine with TNT, you don't have to go that far. TNT blows up about eight square. So if we're down five, this is one, two, three, four, five. That spot is number five. I'll go down a little bit further here, six, seven, eight. And with TNT, you just place one down. There we go. And let's grab a flint and steel. Have one right here. And when you're doing this with the TNT, you can light it and then back up real fast. Make sure you're ready to back up. Let's light it back up like that. And we're out of the blast range now. So we're safe when the TNT goes off. There we go. We don't take any damage from that. That's one of the reasons why I like using TNT. You take no damage. And looking around here, I'm not seeing any ancient debris. So we weren't successful on this one. Let's now go ahead and do them with a bed and see the difference. So this is pretty good size in here. Again, it's about eight by eight. So let's just continue our walkway in here. I'm using basalt for this since I've got a lot of that available. There we go. And we'll just bridge across this gap. Here we are. There's the wall. Okay. Let's make another one. Let's go down a bit further this time. While I'm here, I'll just do my standard mining technique as high as I can reach. That way we won't be missing anything, just in case. Get some light in here. There we go, get this out of the way. And we'll take this down a bit further. There's some more of this. Now again, if there was any quartz back in here, I would have lost it. But now I'm keeping it and I'm getting that XP from that quartz, which is a great reason. It's a great way to get XP. And of course, I want all the quartz I can get for lots of reasons. Just take all of that and we'll keep on going. Oh, that's not good. Let's see if we can get that blocked up here. There we go. That takes care of that. So I won't go that high, but that's going to cause a problem. Obviously when we use the bed in here in just a second, we'll take it down just a little bit further. Okay. And we'll go right down to here. That should be far enough. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine down. We'll put our bed right there. Now the problem with the bed is because it has a blast of about 10, you need to get at least five away. So here's one, two, three, four, five, and six. We should be safe right back here. But notice I can't reach the bed from here. If I come a little bit closer, I can reach the bed from right here, but I'm at one, two, three, four, five. I'm right within the edge of the blast. So Let's see if we make this a little bit safer. I'm gonna put a block right here. Maybe that will protect us a little bit. We'll try. And when I hit this, it's gonna go off instantly. There's no time to back up, just like that. So, so that's a big problem with beds is you're gonna be hit by, you're gonna take some damage. I took a little bit right there, not much since I have my netherite armor on, which helps a lot. But if I'm looking around here, I'm not seeing any ancient debris anywhere in here. We have all these things to worry about, fires everywhere, lava all over the place. So it's much more difficult to deal with this kind of stuff here when you're using the beds. Now, beds are cheap to make. You can get beds very easily. You can bring a lot of beds with you, but beds don't stack. Notice that there's no stacking on there. TNT stacks, making it easier to bring a lot more TNT. 
And you don't get that much of an advantage here with the bed, but you get a lot of these negatives coming along with it. So I really am not that interested in the bed technique. It's exciting. It makes a lot of fire. It looks really neat, but it's not really as safe or as useful as the standard TNT version. And I think in the long run, you get a lot more done with TNT than with the bed because you're not having to go in there and repair all that stuff. Okay, let's come down here and we'll take a look at how I do my favorite technique. Now we're on level 13 right now. And I'm, I brought this down five so that we're out of any of those blast zones down there. We'll be hitting any of that stuff. So here's five. This is 13, that's 14, 15, 16. That one's 17, that one's 18. And I can just reach 19 up there. So I can get a lot covered in here with this technique. I'll tend to go from the bottom up. No real particular reason on that. I could go top down. And look at that right there. We just got lucky. And there's a piece of ancient debris, level 13. And we found it very, very fast. Now with all those explosions in there, in just what I was doing for this video, I found two pieces of ancient debris. Nope, three pieces of ancient debris. And I found all of that with the standard branch mining. All those explosions did me no good at all. I didn't find anything with the explosions, but I have found debris in here very quickly and easily just with the branch mines. That's why I tend to always do branch mining on this stuff. It's the safest, it's the easiest, and it works just as well. Okay, let's talk about chunk borders. I'm gonna first grab these, and I need to have either a netherite pickaxe or a diamond pickaxe. Take this one out as well. And again, make sure you dig around just in case something is kind of at an angle in there and I'm not seeing anything else. So that was all of that. Okay, let's come back out here and take a look at my big excavation. This big thing in here. Now to these three areas down there, off to the right side, off to the left side, I found 11 pieces of ancient debris in that whole area. Took a lot of explosions to do it, knocking out a big, large area. And it also gave me a chance to look at that whole discussion, that whole topic about chunk borders. Let me bring those up. That's the F3 key and G. Here's our chunk borders. And where I found the ancient debris was nowhere near these chunk borders. Right down there is that red line. There was two pieces down there along that border. So I had two pieces there. So two out of the 11 were on the chunk border. Nine of them out of the 11 were not on a chunk border. So as far as mining on chunk borders, I haven't seen that actually working. I'm finding more ancient debris, just random in that space. If it hits a chunk border, I'm thinking it's just a random that it was on that chunk border. Let's take a look right down here. And if we come down here, there's a chunk border. We go past that border. And right down here is where I found that first block of ancient debris. And notice that we're a little ways away from that chunk border. We're oh, a quarter of the way into that chunk. So that one was not against a chunk border. Let's look at the new one that we just found. And it's right down over here. And this one was on a chunk border right there. So again, as, as far as I can tell, it's really hit and miss if it's going to be on a chunk border or not. So that whole concept of showing your chunk borders and digging along chunk borders, I don't think it really matters. I think if you just do good branch mining, you're going to get everything anyway, and not just the stuff that's along those borders. You want to have just a good system for digging out. And I'll stick with the standard technique, and that's doing a branch mine like this. I like being at level 13. Come down two, one, two. Do your next branch right here just like that. Go up as high as you can reach. And then when you're done with there, just go down two more, do the exact same thing. And you're going to be able to see every single block in this area. And it's going to be much easier to take care of any lava that comes in. You block that up real fast, much safer. And it's going to be more efficient than really any other technique. Only thing to really think about there is when you're doing your mining, make sure you bring along just cheap pickaxes. Any pickaxe will mine with just one hit. So wooden pickaxes or just cobblestone pickaxes, that's perfect. And save your good pickaxe, like my netherite pickaxe right here, for actually digging out any ancient debris that you find. If you like this video, hit that like button. Make sure you click on subscribe so you won't miss out on my videos in the future. And I'll see you next time.